All right, guys, welcome to uh, grade five, chapter two, lesson five. We're going to be working on estimating with two digit divisors. So, first, pause, write this down, guys. Dirty monkey smell completely bad, or does McDonald's sell cheeseburgers? It's how we remember our letters. For divide, multiply, subtract, check, and bring down. We're going to go through those steps. Ready? Do this. Okay, so we are going to start where it wants you to kind of do an estimate first. Um, it actually wants you to do two estimates with compatible numbers, okay? So 17, I would round that to 20 on both of them, okay? And 1569 is in between 1500 and 1600, okay? So, um, so 20 is not going to go into 1 and it's not going to go into 15. It'll go into 150. 50, if we do 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, that's five. And then 20, 40, if we do 60, that's too much. So it's going to be seven. Okay. Seven times, which was 140. Subtract. We get 10. Okay. Now, 10 is definitely smaller than 20. That's my checking. I'm going to go ahead and bring down my other zero, and 20 goes into 100 five times. Five times 20 is 100. Okay, so that's one of your estimates. Okay, the other one is going to be doing the same 20, but into 1600 instead of 1500. Okay, so we're going to go, we know that five times 20 is 100, so then I'm going to go 20, 40, 60, and so that one is going to be eight. Okay, eight. 8 times 20 is 160. Subtract, I get 0. Now, see the 0 over here? I don't have to bring that down. I'm just going to go ahead and bring it up there. Okay? So, you have 75 and 80. Those are your two estimates. Okay? All right. So, numbers 3 through 12, you guys are going to do those. You totally can. I have complete faith in you. Okay? All right. You do them. They're exactly the same. Okay. All right. So we are going to go down to number 13. Okay. Oh, by the way, for numbers um, 9 through 12, when it says use compatible numbers to find the estimate for the quotient, quotient just means divide. That's all we're doing today is dividing. So that's all that means. Quotient means divide. Okay. All right. So going down to number 13, it says a cubic yard of topsoil weighs 4,128 pounds. How, about how many 50-pound bags of topsoil can we fill with one cubic yard of topsoil? So I took my 50, and then I rounded, because it says about how many, okay? So I rounded 4,128 to 4,000. Okay, so I rounded it to the nearest thousand. Okay, so 50 is not going to go into four. It's also not going to go into 40. Okay, it will go into 400, and I know it goes into each hundred twice. So two times that four is going to be eight. Eight times 50 is 400. Subtract, get zero. Now, see that zero again? I could bring it down, or I could just go ahead and bring it up. Okay, so about, so about 80 bags, okay, about 80 bags, that's your answer, okay, all right, we are going to go on to number 14, okay, and it says, an electronic store places an order for 2,665 USB flash drives. One shipping box holds 36 flash drives. About how many boxes will it take to hold all the flash drives? Now, so I rounded 36 to 40 and 2,665 to 3,000 because if I go to the nearest 1,000, the 6 tells the 2 to go up to 3. Okay? So 40 is not going to go into 3. It's also not going to go into 30. It'll go into 300, so let's go over here. We'll do 40, 80, 120, 160, 200, 240, 280, 
320. And I think that's about all we'll have to do. Okay. So 40 will go into 300. The closest we can get, it looks like, is 280. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 times. 7 times 4 is 28. And then the 0, 280. Okay. We subtract, we get 20. Okay. Now, now I have something left, so now I have to bring down the zero. Okay. Okay. So 40 into 200, it looks like it's going to go one, two, three, four, five times. That is 200. We have nothing left. So 75 boxes. Have to label the problem word answer, guys. Okay. All right. You guys can always pause the video, do whatever you guys need to do to go back and, and look at it again, okay? All right, so now you guys are going to do the lesson check. You totally can. We are going to go down to where it says spiral review. It's important to remember what we've learned. So we're going to do the spiral review together, okay? Okay, Andrew can frame nine pictures each day. He has an order for 108 pictures. How many days will it take him to complete the order? So whatever our answer is going to be, it's going to be in days, okay? Now, he has 108 pictures that he has to do, and he can do nine a day. Let's do the math. Nine's not going to go into one placeholder. Nine will go into ten, one time, one times nine, nine, subtract, one, okay? One is smaller than nine. That's my checking, so I can go ahead and bring down my eight, okay? Nine goes into 18. Two times, two times nine is 18, subtract zero. Okay, so 12 days, okay? All right, let's do number four. Number four says Madeline can type three pages in one hour. How many hours will it take her to type 123 page report? Well, Madeline's probably gonna go a little bit crazy because 123 pages is a lot to type for anyone. So three is not gonna go into one. One is too small, okay? Three will go into 12, four times. Four times three is 12, subtract, get zero. Zero is definitely smaller than three, so I can bring down my three here. Three goes into three, one time. One times three is three, subtract, zero. So 41 hours says how many hours will it take her? 41 hours, okay? All right, we're going to go to number five. I love this problem, but Miss Leah goofed and wrote down the answer for you before I did the problem. So Miss Leah's going to go through really fast and try and mark her over it so that I don't give you guys the answer without doing the work. So it says, Oh, no, I didn't. Silly me. Okay. So it says, suppose you round 43,257,529 to 43,300. To what place value did you round the number? Well, I underlined the three because that's the last number it has. It's not a zero. Okay. So that place, we have one, tens, and hundreds. Thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, hundred thousands. That's your answer. It's hundred thousands. Okay. Okay. Number six says Grace's Catering Company received an order for 118 apple pies. Grace uses eight apples to make one pie. How many apples does she need to make all 118? So. Eight apples for one pie, she has to make 118. We just need to multiply it. So eight times eight is 64. Eight times one is eight plus six, 14. Carry your one. Eight times one is eight plus one more is nine. 954 apples. All right, guys, that was five, or sorry, 2.5. Come back for 2.6. You guys don't.